All right, so my first species this year on my poppers. If you are not familiar with this in pursuit, I'm basically just trying to catch as many different species of fish on my homemade cork poppers as possible. Just a fun little challenge for the year, uh, something to show you guys. I have been detailing how to make them in previous videos. I never finished that. Uh, I will. I will in the next week or so. I'll do one more video just showing how I finish them up. Here I'm just showing you the entrance to the pond that I fish. The first thing I want to show you here, just because I haven't shown you it before, is how these pop and how they sound. So this is the smallest size I have that makes the least commotion. So that gives you an idea of what they sound like. And I had tried the larger one for a little while with no hits. So I went down to the smaller size popper. And I'm gonna show you something that often happens with these here. This is my six weight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you can't see it in the video, but that, that fish came streaking from shore and had a small weight behind sick. it. Which was really cool. Alright. Not huge, but you can get a good shot of the popper as I'm holding it like that. In pursuit, number one, largemouth bass. May 26th. Like a freight train. But oftentimes what happens with these is they hit immediately upon it hitting the water and doing maybe one little pop. So you have to be ready. You have to make sure that line is taut. I didn't wet the line and my fingers were dry. That's what I was saying. I burned my finger. When you're stripping hard like that against the fish, and that fish was really small, you can actually burn your finger with the fly line, and that's just what I'm saying happened, so. You can see these cats pretty well. I mean, again, this is a six weight. I've got about an eight foot uh, tapered leader and combination of eight pound tippet. I'm just going to show you one more small fish here. I had six or seven. They were all really small. Things just haven't really heated up yet here in New England. And for popper fishing, I really like to fish it when the water gets warmed up a little bit and the fish are more active. Oh my I mean, God. a lot of the fish haven't even begun to bed yet. So here's a really small one. Look at how fat this one is. You are really fat. Wow, there's a lot of little bass in here. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to show you a lot bigger bass soon. A bunch of different species. Striper fishing has been really slow, so who knows? You might see a lot more of this.